Hello everyone, my name is Dean and welcome to week 6 of the 20 and 20 challenge. Uh, this week we're going to be creating a game review application. Uh, so this first episode we're going to focus on creating the join table between games and genres. Uh, and we're also going to give each game like a thumbnail. And then going forward we're going to try and flesh this out so that you can, you know, sort games by ratings and all that other stuff. Uh, but today we're just focusing on the join table and the thumbnails and making sure that you know you can navigate from the game to the genres it has and when you go to like the main home page and when you go to like the main home page you see uh, all the games listed by genre so you might have like one genre that has uh, like three games and one of those games might also have another genre you know it's a has many from both sides of the relationship so you do need that like middle join table uh, so that you can have like a one a one to many and a one to many, which becomes like a many to many for those of you that remember your database class. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to cover today. Uh, I'm not trying to take too much time in this intro, so let's just go ahead and let's jump into some code. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating the uh, game review scaffold. So for this, we'll start by typing Rails G scaffold. We'll call them games. Each game will have a title of type string, a review of type text, and it'll have a um, it'll have a rating of type decimal. So we can go ahead and we can run that scaffold, and then we can come into our DB and our migrations once this decides to run. Uh, and then we can come into here and we can change around the uh, decimal rating. So what we want to do is give this a precision of two, uh, which basically means that you'll have a precision up to like 10, oops, 10 point zero one. Uh, and it'll have a scale of one, uh, which just means that you'll only be able to have a rating like 7.5 basically. Uh, so we'll just leave it like that and we can save this. We can then come back over to our terminal and we'll also create a scaffold. So we'll say Rails G scaffold for the genres and the genre will just have a name. And that's going to be of type string by default. Um, the next thing we should do is do a Rails active underscore storage colon install command because we're going to be adding images to our uh, games, basically. So we have the uh, active storage installed, which will let us do the images as like uh, thumbnails. So when you go through, you can see like, oh, here's picture number one, here's picture number two. So the next thing we're going to do is create a join table for the genres and the games. Uh, and this time I thought it might be fun to try doing a Rails G migration where we say uh, create, oops, create, join table games genres and then we just say games genres i think that'll work uh, if we come into our db migrate and we check the uh, migration here yeah so this should be uh, a t.index and we want this to be oh i see so it's just putting them both like that that's a little bizarre uh, let's just do it like this for the sake of uh, being clear down the line. Uh, so we'll just say t.index for the game ID and t.index for the uh, genre ID. And that should be good. So we can go ahead and save that. And now if we do a Rails db colon migrate command, hopefully nothing blows up here and everything works as we expect it to. Uh, but that's always hit and miss when I do these things. Uh, so let's go into config and our routes.rb. And let's create a root. So we'll say the root is going to be the game's controller and the index action. So we'll save that. And then we can come over here and start Rails S uh, to start the server. Or type Rails S to start the server. And then we can navigate to localhost port 3000. And we'll see that we have our games set up here. So we can create a new game. You can see that the links are... Uh, highlighted with black. So if we come into app assets style sheets, uh, we can delete the scaffolds.scss file and then refresh and that'll fix uh, the black text. So now let's try doing something like um, a game with a review and it has a rating of 7.5. So we create the game and now has a title. 
a review and a rating. That's great. Um, but what we want to do is give this an ability to like select a uh, select a, a genre. Okay, so now let's come into our models and let's go into game.rb. And let's say that the game has and belongs, oops, has and belongs to many. Uh, and it does this for genres. And then it's also going to has one attached thumbnail. So we can save that. Uh, and then if we come into our genre, this is going to has and be belongs to many games. And then we can save that. So now let's come into our controllers and our games controller. So on the index page, we need to, uh, well, actually, let's come into our views and let's do it this way so you can see what the error looks like. So if we come into our games and our index.html, let's just get rid of everything here. Oops. And let's say uh, we want to start by iterating over uh, every genre. So we'll say at genres.each do genre. And then for each genre, let's just do a H1. And we'll just say print out the genre dot name, just so that we have something to work here, work with here. Uh, and this is going to throw an error because we haven't defined uh, at genres yet. So at genres is going to be nil. So we need to come into our games controller. And inside of our index, we'll just say at genres equals genre dot all. Now this is still going to be empty for now, so we're going to have to actually create some. So let's navigate to localhost slash genres, and we'll create a new one. So let's start with like uh, RPG, or I guess we could say role playing game. So we'll create that. Uh, let's create another one, and we'll say uh, you know action, and then we'll create another one called adventure. And let's create one last one called like sandbox. So now we have four genres to work with. So let's come to the home page and they're all listed there. So now let's try to do something like uh, genre dot games dot each do game. And we'll end this. And then for each game, let's wrap it in a P tag. And then we'll say uh, print out the game dot title, I think is what we called it. So we can refresh and there's nothing that's going to appear here because we don't have any games selected yet. So if we come to slash game slash new, we can create a new game here uh, and we'll give this let's create. I actually have some suggestions here. <laughs> Apparently it wants me to do Skyrim. Uh, let's do Minecraft and we'll just say, I don't know, man, it sold a lot. So it's probably good and we'll give it a rating uh, I guess I should have uh, clamped the rating values we can do that later let's give it a rating of like 9.5 out of 10 just to be a bit controversial so we can create this now it doesn't have any genres yet so if we go back this still isn't going to appear on this page uh, so what we need to do is come into let's come into our games controller and down here where we're permitting stuff, we need to permit the thumbnail. And we should also permit the uh, genre IDs, which is just going to be an empty array. So let's go to slash game slash new again. And let's come into our views and our games form, because we need to change a couple things around in here. So down at the bottom here, the first thing we can do is we'll just quickly create the thumbnail because this is the easier of the two. So we'll just say form.label for the thumbnail and then a form.file field for the thumbnail. Oops, like that. And if I refresh, we now have the thumbnail uh, and then we can do a another field here for the uh, select. So we'll say form.label. This is for the genres. And then we need to do a form.collection select for the genre IDs. 
And for this, we need to pass in uh, either all genres or just our at genres. So let's come into our games controller. And we sort of need to do this in multiple places. So instead of doing it inside index, let's just create another before action. We'll just say set genres. Uh, and we'll do this for everything except for, I think, the show. Uh, and the destroy, possibly. Yeah, so I think that's good. So we'll save that. I'm sure it'll reformat that. Uh, and then let's come down here and just say def set genres end. And we'll say at genres equals genre dot all. And that just lets us grab this in multiple places. So now inside of our form here, we can use this uh, genres dot all. And let me just pop this up one step. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is we need to set a ID, a name, then we'll need the empty hash here. Uh, and then we need to set, so this will work for selecting one, but we also need to say uh, multiple is true. And that should allow us to select multiple um, genres in here. So if I refresh this page, you can now see we have this uh, select right here. So let's create another one. So we'll say uh, this is, well, you know what? It suggested that Skyrim, so let's just do Skyrim. Um, not as good as Oblivion. That's just it. That's all we're saying. We're very nostalgic, but we'll still give it an 8.5 out of 10. And this is an action and an adventure and a role playing game. Uh, let's now go to Google and see if we can find like, uh, I don't know, cover art Skyrim, I guess. This works. Yeah, sure, let's grab this. So we'll just save this image. Okay, I saved it to my desktop and now I should be good to just drag this over to the thumbnail right here. And then we'll hit create and we'll see what happens. Okay, so uh, the image isn't showing here, obviously, uh, but the review is in, the rating is in. Let's go ahead and let's hit back, and now you can see that for these three, the Skyrim game is appearing. So that's at least working. Let's come into our index page, and instead of doing the game title, let's do something like the game thumbnail. And let's wrap this in parentheses, and let's just say image tag for the thumbnail and then we'll refresh. Uh, that seems a little bit big. So let's maybe give this like a width of 300 and a height of, oops, is it a comma? It's probably a comma, a height of 150. That seems backwards. I should have done 300 for this and 150 for this. Sure, good enough. Um, and then let's, let's see, what else can we do? So let's zoom this out a bit just so we can see what's happening here. Uh, we should probably make this a link to the actual game. So for that, we can just do a link to the image tag and then the actual route we navigate to will be game. So if I refresh the page now, I should be able to click this and go to slash game slash three. So that works. Um, and then what else could we do? Right, so let's come into the game's show page. So the uh, views and the show page. So we have the title, the review, and the rating. Um, let's also add in what genres this belongs to. So we'll just say, uh, let's do something like uh, at game.genres.each do genre. And then we'll end this. And then in here, each one will be wrapped inside of a P tag. And we'll just say uh, genre.name. Oops, got to wrap this in Ruby code. Genre.name. And up here, we can just do something like an H3. And we'll just say this game belongs to uh, at game.genres.count. Uh, and we'll probably want to do like a pluralize for this. So we'll just say pluralize. This is our integer value. Uh, and we'll say genre. 
and then that should in theory work but you know theory and practice are always two different things okay so right here uh, this game belongs to three genres it's a role-playing game an action and an adventure uh, so we can probably uh, clean this up a little bit so you know you add in like a coal in there save this and then maybe we can come over to just our uh, genres and for the role-playing game maybe we want to edit this so we could go to the show page for this so let's try this let's make each of these genres a link and for now we'll just link to the actual genre so we'll say link to the genre name and it'll just be the genre show page so now if I click on role playing game, it'll take me here and then I can edit this. So let's change this to be RPG. So we'll hit update and then we can go back to slash game slash three, I think. And now this will be an RPG and then we can go to the home page and we can see this. So let's create one more game just uh, so we'll say slash game slash new just so we have something else here. So let's create Minecraft. Uh, let's oh we already did didn't we so if I come over to slash game slash two I think yeah this is the Minecraft game so let's edit this one this is a let me zoom into 150 this is a sandbox adventure action RPG let's just make it sandbox so we can see what it's like if we just select one uh, it's still a 9.5 but we do need a Minecraft cover art uh, so I think we'll just grab this one for now and I'll save this. Okay, and now I'll come over here and I'll just drag this over and I'll hit update game. So this belongs just to sandbox. So if we come back to the home page now and we scroll through, you can see that the sandbox has Minecraft uh, and the other three are just Skyrim. So let's see if we can make one more that overlaps with two of the three here. So let's go to slash game slash new uh, and let's do like, I don't know, RuneScape. Oops, <laughs> RuneScaper. RuneScape. Um, it has a battle royale mode now. Isn't that wild? And we'll give it like a uh, 9.3. And this will be an RPG uh, and an adventure game. And then let's look for uh, like... All right, so I've opened up RuneScape and RuneLight. Don't judge me. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and we'll just grab a picture of this and we'll save it and then I'll drag it over into our uh, game review. Okay, so now we have our image and our RuneScape is created. It belongs to two genres. So if I come back, uh, you can see here that each of these, let me just get rid of that scaling because it doesn't actually look great and it's not contributing that much, I think, except for maybe the Minecraft one is gonna be a little wonky if I get rid of this, but we'll see. Uh, so I'll just save this and I'll refresh the page. Yeah, so you can see here um, the games do overlap. So like Adventure has Skyrim and RuneScape and RPG has Skyrim and RuneScape, but like Action only has Skyrim and uh, Sandbox only has Minecraft. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for um, this one. I think next time we'll uh, we'll go through and we'll do some of the more advanced stuff. I just really wanted to cover the basic concept of what we were going over, you know, games and genres and ratings. And next time we can work on some of the... Uh, cooler aspects here, but I thought we covered a lot today. We did the thumbnails. We did the uh, we did the has and belongs too many relationships So that was cool uh, But yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Let's go ahead and let's cut to the outro Okay, so that's gonna do it for uh, part one of this week's 20 and 20 challenge I'm um, looking forward to this one. This seems like a pretty novel idea, and I'm hoping that you guys are getting some value out of this. Uh, if you are, remember to like the video. If you're not, remember to dislike the video, because we don't need more bad tutorials at the top of the YouTube search results. Uh, and if you're interested in seeing the rest of the series, then consider subscribing, because, uh, you know, we gotta bump those rookie numbers up, or whatever the cool kids are saying on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for me. I will see you guys in part two. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.